Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show you how to use camera tool in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and in this video, I will show you step by step how to use camera tool in After Effects. Let's first of all go to project and right mouse, new composition, add name camera, size is full HD and 10 seconds, click OK. So, in this time, let's click this second for black background and right mouse, new and solid layer. Add name background, click OK and go to FX Preset, search effect grid, select grid, let's use for background solid layer and go to size form, change with slider, change slider like this. Okay, so in this time, Let's select this layer and go to, as you can see, this icon and click this checkbox for turn off 3D layer. Select background and press R. We have the Y X rotation values and let's change X rotation like this for ground. Okay, change quality quarter and change rotation like this and move to down for Z axis. Okay, so in this time, let's go to Carter and change to Full. And right mouse, go to New and create camera tool. We have presets here, we can use all these presets for our animations, but actually I use this preset. And don't change any settings, click OK. So, right now we have camera tool and select camera and go to active camera. We can see all cameras here or we can choose camera view front left, top, back, right and button. Also can use three custom views. One, two, three. Let's use one. Okay, right now we can see camera tool here and solid layer. And select camera. Let's see. We can change camera movements like this. Okay, let's change view here too. And right now we can change camera control here. And let's one camera view three. Okay, that's good. So in this time, go to view and let's select here two views horizontal. Okay, select this top and let's change view active camera and click this second for black background. So this is my main view from active camera and this is view three. So let's see, let's change view here. V1, okay, select these two layers and camera tool. Okay, let's go to project and I have three images. First, select this cat image and drag and drop my composition. Okay, click this icon for solid layer. Okay, as you can see here, we can't see here cat image. For fix this problem, select this cat and of course, click this checkbox for 3D layer. Right now we can see here this cat layer and press S, change scale, OK and move it down. So select these three layers, let's see, OK and we can change view here with C button. OK, that's good. And in this time select this cat and let's move to here, move front. Okay, select this layer car. Let's drag and drop inside composition. And let's put here and click this icon for third layer. Okay, and move to behind cat image. Also press S, change scale. Okay, and move to down. And move to left like this. And move to Z axis. So final, let's select this image three, drag and drop composition, and click this icon for three D layer. Press S, change scale, and move to behind of two image layers. Also, let's move to right and move to down. Okay, we can move to down like this. Okay, so. In this time, let's close these scale settings. So we can use camera with only camera tool. 
or other way we can create new object for control camera movements. Select camera 1, right mouse and go to camera and create orbit null. Ok, select orbit null and for move anchor point center. Hold control, double click pen behind icon for move anchor point center. Click station tool again. And right now select this null and press P. We can control scene movements with this null object. Let's change quality quarter for work fast. Ok and press R, change rotation. We can rotate full scene with null object or X rotation or Z rotation. Nice. So, for example, select this null and press P, make new person keyframe and let's move the back and go to 5 seconds and let's zoom in to cat layer. Also we can move to down a little bit and move to right and let's preview animation. Okay, let's select last few frame for move to left. Nice, and let's select this camera. And let's see here. Okay, nice. And select this null. Let's hold shift press R. Open rotation. Let's create Y rotation keyframe. Go to last second and change rotation like this. Okay, let's see. Also, we can see camera here. Let's see. Nice. And let's delete this. Y rotation keyframes, also null object keyframes. So let me show how to use depot field. Select this camera and open inside camera options. And as you can see here, depot field, let's click turn on. Okay, and we have three settings Fox distance, aperture, and blur level. So let's zoom in here. Okay, and select camera. And for create camera movements, we can use these icons. Let's go to here, hold this icon. We can use C in keyboard for shortcut. Okay, and let's press C. Let's zoom in here. And again press C. And select this car layer. Let's move to behind of cat. And move to back. So in this time, let's change blur level 200 and aperture, let's change 100 and change fox distance. Okay, so we can't see any depot field for fix this problem. Let's go to compensation, compensation settings and go to 3D render. As you can see, our Cinema 4D render engine change default classic 3D. Click OK. And right now we can see the whole field and change distance. Okay, let's hold shift for fast distance and change aperture like this and blur lever and distance. Let's play with distance. Okay. Change quality full. Let's zoom in here. Nice, very good. So select this null object, let's press P and make new person keyframe, go to 3 seconds and move to left like this. Ok, and we can make animation for depot field. Let's create focus distance keyframe and move to here, go to less keyframe and change distance to car. Let's see, select work area. Nice, very good. Okay, so guys, in this time, let me show how to use two, three, four, and five and more camera tools in one scene. Let's close these layers. And in this time, let's select this camera and control D for duplicate. 
and press U for CH frames and close distance. Let's unlink here none and press C. Let's select camera scene like this. Let's zoom into three. Okay, and right now let's select camera two, right mouse and go to camera and create orbit null. Hold control, double click pen behind icon for move the anchor point center, click station tool and select null object, press P, make new passing Q frame and go to here, let's move to right and go to back, select camera 2, let's open inside, camera options and create fox distance Q frame and let's go to here, change distance to 3. Let's see. Okay, that's good. And for now, select camera 2 and null 2. Let's move to right, also move to up. Let's see. This is first camera and this is second camera. Let's move to right. Okay, this is first camera scene and this is second camera scene. Also, we can create camera 3, 4, 5, 6 and more camera tools. Let's select full work area. And right now, let's go to here. As you can see, here, camera 2 or camera 1. Also, we can use these camera tools for rendered animation. So, let's preview animation. Okay, this is camera 1 and this is camera 2. So, we have two camera views in one conversation. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck!